when you cut the tendons or make a cut on the front side or the palmar side of your hand, those tendons are, are more on tension. So the muscles in the forearm will actually pull those tendons into the palm. So there is a timeline where you need to get those fixed. That's different on the back side. There still is a timeline, but they will not, the, the tendons on the back side of your hand will not pull back into the wrist. You still have a timeline that you want to fix them, but it's a completely different type of surgery and a completely different rehab. But both sides you can fix and with good hand therapy, get your function back. Um, if you cut one of the flexor tendons, can it pull back where you have a hard time finding it? It can. Right. It can go all the way back into the wrist, actually. That's a, and when you sew it together, certain types of suture material, what's the recovery time? What are you doing in recovery? Sure. So if the flexor tendons are cut and maybe even a nerve or an artery, um, what you would do is you'd, you'd, number one, find all the ends, both sides. Um, so a little housekeeping right there. And then you just begin to sew them back in place. So the tendons are very thick, very strong structures. Um, so actually you put stitches on the inside um, and those are a non-absorbable material. Some are a special type of stitch that's uh, uh, like, uh, has a, what's called fiber wire. There's a Kevlar vet, uh, core inside of it, so very strong. And you use that kind of like rebar on the inside where you can sew cables on the inside, tie them together and then with very small suture, sutures and we're using microscopic glasses, we sew the outside of the tendon so it can glide very easily. 